my name's Catherine Ann Paul, and I'm curator of the Arts of Asia here at the Newark Museum, and also curator for this special exhibition, Red Luster, Lacquer and Leather Works of Asia. Hello, my name is Jason Lyon. I am the senior preparator for the Newark Museum. This is a Tibetan writing box. It opens in a distinctive way. First, you slide the top to the right, and then it pivots or swivels away from the angular cut to reveal a lower level. The upper level has both room for an inkwell and pens, and the lower level has room for more pens. Notice the interior is undecorated, raw, totally functional. In this set of images, you are looking at an Iranian or Turkish hinged box with the portrait of a young man. As you can see, when the lid is opened, a gold interior is revealed. One of my favorite aspects of this box is the delicate mother of pearl inlay. Probably used as a container for incense, when the top is opened, a gold interior is also revealed. The artist wants you to believe this box is a bound book of poetry. This box is in the shape of a succulent peach, a symbol of longevity. Deeply carved, multicolored lacquer layers reveal all sorts of additional details, symbols of riches and happiness. When this box came into my hands, it had decades of grime on its surface. In order to reveal the beautiful color differentiation, I used small handmade cotton swabs in distilled water. Surprisingly, for all the effort of the exterior, the interior is relatively plain and simple with coatings of unadorned dark lacquer. This Japanese accessories box is an object of high value to collectors both in Japan and worldwide. In the 19th century, the sticker was probably placed on it before it was sold to an American art collector. Although the box is extremely lightweight, over the centuries, gravity is causing the lid to crack. Therefore, the museum's conservator placed this interior support to prevent further cracking and potential collapse of the lid. As you can see, this handle is covered in a soft archival tissue. This is done to prevent the movable handle from chipping the surrounding surface during storage and transport. Once the box is placed on view, the protective tissue was removed.